Hello painters! So today I'm going to take you through the introduction to week three. What do we do? It's week three. So you're going to click on your class. This is my third class and my third period painting class. You're going to open this up and you are going to see your week one folder, your week two folder, and here is your week three folder. So you're going to open that up. You can open it this way where you click on the small arrow on the side so you just have a little thumbnail sketch or you can open up the folder so everything is bigger so then you have everything laid out right in front of you only for the week three folder so there's nothing more on the page so the first thing you're going to do this week is go in and watch this ted ed video now it's a video about frida kahlo who um is a Mexican woman and is a very famous painter in Mexico. So when the words over here on the left are red, that means that's the section that you're in. So when you're, my, the, my word watch is red, that means I could come over here and click on the video and it would start playing. Once I'm done watching the video, I'm going to come over here to the think section and I'm going to click on the Things section and up will come a question. But it's not the only question. Okay, so if you want to go to the next question, say you answer this one, and then you go to the next question, you can click the numbers that are across the top here, or you can click the little arrows that are on the side to make sure that you've answered all four questions. Okay, then, oops. Um, the thing is, if you get one of these answers wrong here in the TED Ed section, it will take you to a little piece of the video that will lead you to the correct answer. So take notes on this one because this quiz doesn't count towards your grade. So you can make as many mistakes on this one as you need to. Okay, and take notes on it because when we go back into our week three distance learning folder, the very next thing is the Frida Kahlo quiz. Now you're going to notice that I did some things different. So if you go in here and you start taking your quiz, you'll notice that I have a couple different languages here. So my third period painting class has um, two or three different languages in it. And so I have done it in Spanish. I've also provided it in Thai because I want to make sure that I am testing people on the content and not how well they know English. Okay, because this is not the English class. So this is the best I can do with my Google Translate. I hope that it is a good enough translation for you to be able to um, choose the correct answer. Okay, so once you get done with those, that will uh, that grade will automatically update to Schoology. So then um, you don't have to wait for a long time for, the, for that process. Okay, so then once you're done taking that quiz, then you can come down here to the assignment for the week. Okay, so it's Frida Kahlo inspired work planning. So this week is a planning week. So give yourself 20 minutes to a half hour each day to do a little bit of planning and art. Um, so it says using your Autodesk sketchbook, you will create an artwork that tells the story of life through your eyes. Okay, some things to include and keep in mind are Okay, and the reason that I'm having you create an artwork through your eyes is because it's kind of a Frida Kahlo inspired painting. So she painted everything that she saw and that was about her life, whether it was her physical pain from the accident that she was in early on, or the people she was surrounded with, with which was her family, or the food that she could see, or animals, or nature. Um, it was everything that she could see because... Um, it, she's a painter and so in order to paint you're seeing things and sometimes the thing she was seeing was pain and other times it was physically what was in front of her. Okay so some of the things you want to keep in mind are to try and narrow your focus. Okay our lives are busy so you want to choose something that matters to you in an intimate uh, way which means a significant and personal way. Okay um, 
The second thing you want to keep in mind is that it's okay to focus on self. That is really what this assignment is about. Even if you choose not to do a self-portrait, um, you're focusing on you and what you see, how you interpret the world and life through your eyes, okay? It's okay. Um... Oh, okay. So picking what to create can many times be most difficult part of a painting. So I think that you've experienced some of this a little bit, but as we get a little more and more independent in painting class um, and I'm not guiding you as much, I will start giving you problems to solve. And this week's problem is really um, trying to figure out what um, that you see or feel or go through every day that you're going to want to represent on paper because you don't want your paper to be overly busy, um, but you want it to be full. So, um, but you don't want too many things going on. You see where I'm going with that. Um, so number five is this week. Oh, I'm sorry, going back to number four. Whatever you choose, make sure it is a peak inside your life. Love, happiness, pain, sorrow, spring, faces or bodies, meals, learning, exercise, animals, and the list can go on. I just hit a few that came to um, my head uh, as I was uh, writing this out. And number five to keep in mind is this week I'd like you to submit a plan. If you have a sketchbook, draw it out and take a picture with the sketchbook app to submit. Maybe you want to submit a word description or just start sketching ideas in the sketchbook app directly. I am looking for some effort put into your planning. Okay, so don't put this off. Put some time in each day to think about and sketch out and come out because many times your first idea is not going to be the idea that you go with. You might spend quite a bit of time on your first idea, but many times your first idea leads you to your better second or third or fourth idea. Okay, so um, just, you know, go with it. Keep in mind, embrace that first idea, but know that many times it's leading you to bigger and better things. So keep your mind open. Don't think that you're done right after your first one. Keep thinking and uh, working it. All right, so that is week three, distance learning, and um, maybe I'll see some of you on Tuesday and Thursday when I have my live sessions at 10.30 to 11 in the morning, and I also have a live session from 1.30 to 2 in the afternoon, and those are on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I hope to see some of you then.